Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Today we are back with the planets from Venus series again. So if you have not watched the series on planets from Venus, not from the moon or from the ascendant, then please watch it. You will find it in this playlist itself. Uh, we have done till nine houses. Today is the 10th house, right? So we have discussed what happens when there's a particular planet from every house, like first, second, third, fourth, fifth, up till the ninth house. So today it's the tenth house. So what is the tenth house? And what happens when a planet is in tenth house from Venus or when there are no planets in the tenth from Venus, right? So, but before that, I am interested to know what planet do you have uh, in tenth house from your venus not from your ascendant again because many times people are saying oh i have this planet here this didn't happen that didn't happen so 10th from venus not from your ascendant or moon sign for the last time so please write it down in the comments uh, write down what is your ascendant where's your venus and which planet is in 10th from venus and let's see how we can take this discussion forward and when the dash of that planet came. What did you experience in life? Please write down that also. I would really love to read all the comments from you. So, as usual, if you are new to the channel, then please subscribe to it down below. And if you want a consultation from me, my webpage is also down below. God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you will find him. And yes, at the end, if you like this video, please click the thumbs up right there. <laughs> So what is the 10th house? The 10th house is the house which is known as the height. <laughs> it's like the midheaven, okay? So the 10th house is the house where sun gets directional strength. Now, the 10th house is a very uh, strange house because it has very contradictory things going on. If you see, uh, who is the Karaka for the 10th house? Well, Mercury is the primary karak. But if you go to the Dashamsha chart, it's not Mercury. It's Saturn actually. And neither does Mercury or Saturn get Digbali in the 10th house. It's the planet Sun. So basically it is like a mixture of these three energies. So the primary karaka is Mercury and Sun and Saturn are also the karakas for the 10th house. Uh, but then every planet has a special role to play for it, okay? So, therefore, you have to understand that the 10th house in general is the house of achievements and uh, see, try to think what happens when sun is at around the noon time, you know, it's like uh, the sun, sun is inevitable, it's like you cannot avoid the sun, okay? So, it's right there. Anybody can see the sun. You 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 don't have you even just don't have to see. You know that the sun is at the top. So that is exactly what is the tenth house. It shows uh, something which is very prominent, something which is uh, indispensable, something which you have to obey, something you which you have to listen to, something which you may or may not agree, but you have to salute. Okay. So the 10th house in today's day and age can show the prime minister of a country or the president or chancellor as here in Germany or the head of the state basically uh, elected by the people or the dictator or whatever. I mean, who, whoever has most of the powers. But now then the question comes, uh, what, what's 10th from Venus? What is 10th from Venus? See, you have to understand 10th house is also the house of resolutions. 10th house is the place where you make a commitment. 10th house is the place where you make a decision. So, planets in 10th house from Venus can uh, indicate certain decisions which you might have to make in your life. In terms of Venus, which is, you know, love, romance, sexuality, you know, relationships, partners, spouse, husband, wife, and everybody else <laughs> cars vehicle um, real estate property and all this i mean the venusian side of all this okay 
because that's what venus is so certain things which can either help you to go to the next level certain things which can actually um, force you to make a resolution okay so for example as we discussed in the last video uh, ninth from venus uh, seventh from venus again now we discussed that uh, mercury cannot be in the seventh or eighth so similarly mercury can't be in the tenth from venus but mercury may be the lord of uh, the house which is you know tenth from venus so if you have uh mercury as the uh lord of tenth house from venus then it could happen that you are forced to make a decision regarding your finances without which your relationship cannot go to the next level okay so tenth house shows things which you need to do to go to the next level so uh, if if there are malefics in 10th from venus then it can happen that somehow you are not able to make a final decision you are not able to take the final call uh, if you should stay in this relationship or marriage okay so now this this is not like a simplistic do or die uh, fatalistic thing oh if you don't decide then your marriage will break no it's not like that but this can happen at a very subtle level okay because either the marriage or the relationship sustains continues or it breaks that has to be seen from the sixth house from the lagna okay not not just from venus but if you feel that uh, you your relationship is somehow existing surviving but it's not thriving then you know, maybe you need to check uh, why 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 is that happening so 10th house is like the house of completion so it's like saying you are in a relationship or you are married but uh, you feel as if it's not completed i mean you don't get that fulfillment from within okay uh, so why why that's happening that that could be because of the 10th house from venus because if there is a malefic in 10th from venus then it can give you this feeling uh, that oh yeah you know either you are not good enough or you may feel the other person is not good enough or both of them may feel that both of them are not good enough for each other or it could be this and along with that it could be that you know the situations are you know such difficult the situations are filled with so much difficulty challenges trials and tribulations that we cannot go to the next level so it's like saying we we are in the relationship but still we are not you know it's like that sense of void or that sense of accomplishment is not there okay that so it's not like the sky so imagine when sun is in the sky you know and during the noon time so it's like everybody knows that the sun is there. so it's like uh, people who have a strong uh, 10th house from venus yeah, it's like saying uh, the sun is there in the sky so it means everybody knows that they are having a strong relationship and they will make it for the rest of their life hopefully unless there is some uh, disaster or calamity you know unseen calamity uh, but in general 99.9 percent .9 they will make it okay so this can be there now sometimes there can be malefics but they may be in good dignity so for example you might have saturn in the sign of uh, capricorn or aquarius or in libra in exaltation okay uh, for, which is actually 10th from venus uh, maybe so in that case what happens you know so then that case there may be delays and you know there could be some uh, saturn shows the typical feeling of being dejected okay saturn is that feeling which you get when somebody doesn't uh, give you much importance saturn is that feeling which you get when you feel maybe i'm not good enough you know i i need to do more i need to be more i need to give more or i need to get more so it's the sense of uh, poverty it's like uh, the feeling of being and being a beggar in a particular area of life you know and everybody has a saturn in the horoscope and therefore everybody feels that in some area of life they're definitely like a beggar okay um, I mean, in some area, I mean, it may not be everywhere, right? Uh, of course, uh, that's from a typical Saturnian perspective. But 
what you have to understand is that if you want to go to the next level uh, then you have to see what is going on in the 10th house from venus and you have to see how you can fulfill the commitments okay so if jupiter is in 10th and that could lead to some religious issue or like some family traditions customs and all this okay and um, most importantly what you got to see is the 10th see is that in the 10th house from venus if there is a planet which house or which houses is it lording from the ascendant should i repeat the planet in 10th from venus you have to see that which plan which houses is it lording from the lagna okay the rising sign the ascendant so for example uh, your 10th lord of your lagna chart not from venus the 10th lord of your lagna chart is sitting in 10th from venus so what does this mean well this can mean you know that uh, there are certain issues regarding your profession because of which your marriage is uh, your or your relationship is not giving you the feeling of being fulfilled or may maybe you know that there's too much work stress you know so sixth lord from the lagna if it is in 10th from venus it can mean that you know there is some separation physical separation because of the work or work life balance is not there uh, and because of that you know you are married but you feel oh uh, may maybe uh, i am not yet married it's just as bad as as if i'm single okay so so similarly you know if uh, you have you know like uh, the lagna lord is in the 10th from venus so it means there's some issue which can come related to your health or your mentality or your mindset which can actually um, give you the feeling that oh maybe because of this mindset that i have or because of certain decisions that i'm taking because of that you know i am not able to uh, complete this marriage okay so therefore the 10th house so when, whenever people come to me for uh, compatibility matches or no uh, how do i say it's like compatibility means like you 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 both want to know how compatible will you be with each other but then there's another category of people who come very frequently to astrologers it is those category it is that category who are in a relationship but they don't know if they will survive it somehow okay it's like they want to know when essentially they want to know when 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 is the relationship going to end okay rather than you know they they, they may say oh will it work for eternity uh, but what they mean actually is that oh when, when is the time is it going to end please tell us so that we can save time <laughs> so <clears throat> for this category of people who are in a relationship but they are not sure if they will continue to be in this marriage or partnership for them you have to see the 10th house from venus you have to 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 you must otherwise there is no hope because see the, because the problem is they they are in a relationship but they feel as if they are not yeah it's a very weird thing <laughs> so then 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 you got to see what is that which is hindering them from getting this feeling so is it coming from the boy or from the girl okay so what's happening uh, so you have to see then you got to see what is going on from the lagna and the dashas the 6th house 7th house so when you see all this then you can actually understand uh, will your relationship actually continue okay uh, otherwise uh, it, it will just uh, it it might end if things are not good okay so i understand this can sound a bit pessimistic but the reality is that uh, everybody has a lord which is the lord of the 10th from venus even if you don't have a planet in 10th from venus you still have a zodiac sign right which is lorded by a planet so there are certain issues which could come up related to that planet so please check that planet please try to analyze it from the perspective of the overall chart is that planet well placed is it afflicted debilitated or uh, with malefics you know which is like afflicted uh, in general or you know it is uh, i mean it's in an enemy sign you know what's going on with that planet right and where are the dispositor where where is the dispositor of that planet that is also something you can check 
which nakshatra is the planet placed in okay so therefore when you see all this then you will understand what is the story and how can i actually fulfill my marriage okay otherwise uh, it it's something which is it's like something which is lurking but you are not saving it uh, you, you you are not aware of how to complete this relationship okay so therefore please pay heed to this house from venus and then if you feel that there are certain things which because of which you are not able to feel fulfilled then clear cut communication with your with your spouse is very important because then that is the only way by which you can resolve this okay otherwise this could eat up your married life okay thank you very much once again if you like this video click the thumbs up please and if you are new to the channel then please click the subscribe button below and website for consultations is also down below god god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will surely find him irrespective of which planet is there in the 10th from venus or even if there's no planet thank you